All right, so time to test out this new flow. I think we can approach this in two stages. First, we could probably find an opportunity and pretend that we create it by using the debugger inside the flow. And then I think to get a real test, we're going to want to um, activate the flow and then create an actual opportunity. So the first thing I'll do is I'm just going to navigate back to our opportunity tab here. And I'm going to first open up the Edge Communications account. And what I want to do here is I just want to leave an account note so that we know we have some information to carry down to the opportunity. And so uh, I'm going to edit the account notes field on the Edge Communications account. And I will just say uh, Edge was founded in 1998. That seems like a good note that I just copied from this field. So we'll press Save. And now we have an account notes uh, populated. And um, the next thing I'm, do, I'm going to do is just look at the edge emergency generator test and make sure that you know this is all populated. We can see the account notes isn't filled in and the opportunity notes is filled in. So I'm gonna leave the opportunity notes filled in. It won't be a, a great test scenario because I guess they're already filled in so we, we won't know for sure if the flow is working but we can at least test that uh, nothing breaks with the debug run and that the account notes gets populated. And then to test the actual opportunity notes functionality, we might need to just create a new opportunity. So I'll go back to the flow builder here and I'll just press debug. We will skip the start condition requirements because um, we want to test on an existing opportunity and pretend that we're creating one. The opportunity we're going to use will be the edge emergency generator test. We'll press run. So first off, our flow ran. That's always positive when you get that completed message there. So that's good. When we look on the right hand side, um, I just want to look at the um, get records and it is successfully finding records. So that's good. That means that, you know, we could potentially pull the opportunity notes from that record. And then let's look at the assignment real quick. And we can see that the notes uh, is populating based on whatever is in our get records. And so that's great. And then our, uh, account notes is being populated based on the relationship jump that we did uh, in our assignment. And you can see the result down below where the actual values of the opportunity notes and account notes uh, that would be set on this opportunity if it were created are listed right here. And that looks exactly like what we're looking for. So that's a really good, you know, kind of debug run and I think is a positive sign. So let's just activate this flow right away. And once it's active, we can now go back to the Edge Communications account and we can just create an opportunity. And we can see if the account notes pulls over and if our flow runs and successfully pulls in the notes from all the other existing opportunities. And just as a reminder, um, if I click on the opportunities and look at the Edge Communication Ops list view, we see that our, our opportunity notes here are the same for every opportunity. And this is just uh, from our last video well, I guess two videos now, but our testing where we left uh, the note. This is our second note. So let's go back to the account and we'll click related. And we can just scroll down here and press new for opportunity. And I'll just fill in these fields. So for amount, I guess I can put 15,000. Oops, yeah, 15,000. We'll call this test op. Maybe I'll call it note, notes test op. Close date, uh, we can just put in today's date. And stage, I'll just put in prospecting, which is the first stage. And so the functionality that Pedro is looking for is that the sales team members don't need to enter any information in the account notes or the opportunity notes field when an opportunity is created. Um, once we save this opportunity, we would hope that these two fields automatically get populated by the flow that we just built. So let's pr press save and see what happens. So our, our notes test op gets created and we'll click that open. And we see that the notes didn't populate. So I, I had a quick moment of panic there. <laughs> I was like, why is that not working? But let's, uh, let's just think about it. So we, oh, we'll go back to our flow here. Um, we are using an assignment element to update our opportunity. Assignment elements only work in a before save flow. And I might have rushed through the configuration a little bit too fast, but I think we have our flow set up to update actions and related records. 
So I'll click Edit Flow here. I'll open up the record triggered flow. And you can see that the flow is optimizing for actions and related records. So this is a really good uh, learning moment where if you're using an assignment element and you aren't optimizing for a before save flow or fast field updates, the assignment element will not actually update the record you're working with. You would need to use an update element to do that. So I'm going to change the optimization of this flow so that we're uh, optimizing for fast field updates. I'll press done. We'll press save as. We'll save this as a new version and I will activate that flow. Now we can go back to our notes test opportunity and I'll just delete this opportunity. And hopefully this takes us back to the edge communications account, which it does. And then I will recreate that opportunity to see if our flow is working. So again, I'll put in $15,000 for the amount. We'll call it the notes test opportunity. The close date will be today. And the stage again will be prospecting. And you can see again that our account notes and opportunity notes is empty. And I'll press save. So our opportunity was created a second time. Let's open it up and see if it worked. Oh, I was too slow to click on it. So down in the related list here, I will click uh, notes test opportunity. And we can see down below that sure enough, uh, changing the flow from an actions and related records flow to an optimized for fast field updates flow populated our two notes. So that's it, we're done. Uh, so good job testing this and we'll continue with building our third and final flow in the next video.